the light, I feel like the light is so bad. Let me be right back. This isn't gonna work. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I'm very bad at making YouTube videos, but you know, it's winter break now. I'm not in college anymore. It's just when there's classes going on, I have a really hard time between keeping up my grades and maintaining social media. So usually when that happens, I just cut, sort of just cut off all social media. I do still post on Instagram, but when it's really hectic, I don't really post. But I'm trying to be better, okay? Just give your girl a minute. Um, today we are going to be talking about what I eat in a day. Now... I'm not someone who's very strict on their diet. I have very flexible eating. If I want some junk food or some donuts or Starbucks, I'm not going to tell myself no, that's just who I am. I still want to enjoy life and eat whatever I want. But the majority of time I do try to eat clean. Um, yeah, I eat a lot, okay? And I didn't even know that I could eat this much food until I think like two years ago or last year. But that's because my body is different than yours. I wouldn't go into fitness or into bulking eating as much as me. Let me tell you, I gradually um, added calories as I go. Um, when I first started bulking or trying to see how much food I could eat to see results, I started at 2,000 calories. And then after a month, I wasn't really satisfied. So I upped it up to 2,500. And then like I think three months passed by so then I upped up I upped up my calories to like 3,000 and now I eat 3,500 that's usually what I usually eat I could even go 4,000 I've done 4,000 calories per day before and my body is fine um, I can maintain it well um, my body I just have a really crazy <laughs> fast metabolism so yeah so before starting this video how much food you eat really depends on your metabolism and how much your body burns at a resting state so for me my body burns a lot of calories even while sleeping and doing nothing so that's why I can eat so much food so yeah so for this video I do track my calories on my fitness pal I basically always make sure that I eat like right now I'm 152 so I try to make sure that I eat 150 grams of protein at least I don't count um, carbs or fat so I don't really care about that but for sure the number one thing is to eat a lot of protein right now I'm trying to go back to 165 so during finals week I just get really stressed out and when I'm stressed out I I don't eat yeah that's really it I don't know hmm okay let's get started bye hi guys so it's 9 58 I slept in a little bit I usually wake up really early but this morning I slept in cuz it's the day after my finals and I woke up at 6 30 kind of just hang out for a little bit got ready to film and stuff so now I haven't had my first meal yet we're just gonna go grocery shopping I'm just gonna take you with me to go grocery shopping so yeah let's go <music> groceries really quick I'm not gonna tell you everything that I got we're just gonna run through some of the stuff so we had a little incident this morning where <laughs> my orange juice exploded in my trunk I was driving and then I was like why does it smell like orange juice and then I opened my trunk and it, it's literally everywhere but it's okay we're okay I usually get coconut water I usually get like seven of them and this is if you like dill pickles 
This is the best dill pickles that I've ever had in my whole entire life. Got some Parmesan cheese because for lunch I'm going to be making shrimp pasta. And then we got some butter, salami. I haven't tried this like ever, so we're just going to have it um, this morning just to see what it's like. I'm also trying out this protein shake. So I got some candy for my sweet tooth. So usually like that time of the month, I'll get a sweet tooth and I'll just use this as a snack. And then I got two boxes of frozen pizza. So bittersweet. Huh. Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me? Okay, so first meal of the day, I'm having one cup of orange juice, two slices of turkey bacon, two um, thing of the patties, half a bagel, one whole avocado, and three eggs. I'm just going to be entering that into my fitness pal. So this whole meal right here is 1,054 calories. My breakfast is like the biggest meal of the day just because if I eat more in the morning, then by the end of the day, I'm more likely to meet my calorie surplus. So I got halfway done, about halfway, and I'm getting really full. I'm struggling to finish this meal. You know, this is why bulking, Sorry, Bruno is complaining. This is why bulking is so hard because you would literally have to eat so much. What's wrong with you? Come here, come say hi. Come say hi. Come say hi. This is Bruno. If you have been watching my Instagram story, you know I'm obsessed with him. He is a Bernese Mountain Dog. And he is really big and really cuddly and I love him. But yeah, as I was saying, this is why it's so hard. Like, if you are struggling to eat a lot, girl, I feel you. I know what you're going through. You, we just got to push through it. Over time, your stomach is going to expand, and then you should be used to eating more. So, yeah. Hey, guys. So, it's actually two days later after I filmed um, that breakfast. Long story short, my camera battery died and I forgot where I had put my camera charger, my battery charger. So then I ran around the whole town trying to find the charger, but unfortunately they didn't have the charger in store. So then I had to order it off of Amazon and yeah, that's why. <laughs> so I basically had the same exact breakfast. Um, I usually have the same thing every morning. But now I'm getting ready to go work out. This is my current pre-workout. I'm using the Ghost pre-workout. I usually switch off between Ghost or Lit um, because after a while your body kind of gets used to it. I'm going to be drinking this coconut water. I usually have one of these every morning. It's super cheap at Walmart. You can get it for like 97 cents, I think, or like a dollar. But yeah, this has 160 calories, so I'm just going to drink that real quick before I go and work out. So today is leg day, but I'm not going to be filming my workout just because I'm very new to the whole filming, vlogging, recording thing. I'm working up to it, and I promise you I will film a leg workout soon. But since your girl lost literally almost 15 pounds, we're getting back into it. We're getting back into the groove, so I'm not even like as strong as I used to be at so but it's coming I'm working out the confidence to film at the gym I just hate being in everyone's way you know that's the only thing like I don't want to be in I know when people are there people are like trying to work out trying to do their thing and I don't want to like take my tripod take my camera there and be in everyone's way here it is So while that's cooking, I'm just gonna take out um, the buns. This is my favorite. It has about 190 calories each. And then I'm super hungry, so I'm just gonna have two. 
We got our burgers. And just to add more calories into my meal, I'll just add two slices of cheddar cheese and it has 80 calories per slice. So I'm just going to wait for the cheese to melt a little bit. And then we'll just add our pickles and our tomatoes. I'm not going to count the calories in these because there's like barely any calories. So I'm only going to be counting the buns, the meat, and the cheese. And then I just like to add some spring mix in there and some ketchup. And then we should be all good to go. <laughs> Is it yummy? Hey guys, so it's now dinner time. It's exactly 6 11 p.m. And I'm currently cooking dinner, but before that, I'm going to be making myself a smoothie. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys how to make it because you can really just make this super high calories. So let's get to it. So, what you're gonna need some frozen fruit, yogurt, a banana and any type of protein for my protein i usually go for see this one has the highest calories i either stick to this or i got a serious mass up there i basically cycle on and off between the gnc um, pro performance and the serious mass so yeah so the thing that you need to know is that when you buy one that's in a container like this, the serving size is four scoops to get um, 1340 calories. But if you get it in a big bag like this, it's two scoops. So honestly, I would just go ahead and buy the big bag. This one's $50 and the smaller one is $34, but honestly, it's just worth it to just get the big bag if you're interested in getting this. How to keep the human niggas cold, you know. Sometimes everything just gets hot. Sometimes everything just gets hotter. Feeling like I'm missing some parts. Days just keep on getting much darker. Even when I'm down in the low, I remember what you were saying. Sometimes all you need is a spark. Maybe just a better kind of bitter. messy background it's just there's just a lot of things going on today okay so this little bad boy has 920 calories in it so I'm just gonna be sipping on this while I'm cooking dinner for dinner we're gonna have baked salmon with shrimp pasta and a side of steamed broccoli later so yeah this, I just got the salmon from Walmart. We got our jumbo shrimp that we're gonna put in our pasta and it's gonna be awesome. Hello, so dinner is ready and I can't wait to show you guys. I didn't record just because it would have just taken forever. Um, if you want me to film like how I make my food for bulking and all that stuff, you can comment down below and request that if you want to see that. Today we are having some steamed broccoli with shrimp pasta. This is very high in calories, but it's so good. And then a little piece of salmon. Wow. Look at that. So, the salmon, I would say it's about four ounces. So, four ounces, so it's 230 calories. And then the pasta. So the thing is, when it comes to home cooked meals, you're never going to really know the exact calories that it has. So I'm just gonna say it's around like 300 <laughs> because it is pretty fatty and pasta usually are very high in calories and I'm not going to count the broccoli. My goal right now is 3,500 calories and today we are going above that and that's okay because, you know, I'm trying to get back into it. Um, so I'm really trying hard to go back to 160 or 165. It says 340 if it's homemade shrimp pasta. So we're gonna go with what my um what the app says. Oh 
wait. <laughs> Before I go, I just wanted to say if you have any video requests, please comment down below because I only get three weeks of winter break and then next semester is going to wreck me. So I'm not sure how I'm going to maintain social media. I might not. So if you don't see me at all or barely ever see me on Instagram, it's because your girl is studying hard. Your girl gonna get all those A's and your girl trying to graduate early. But yeah, that's it. All right, bye.